My name's Alone and welcome to another Zero Theory episode. I want to start this one off by saying that I do have a Discord if you want to join that. The link to that is at the top of the description, but that is a Lumberjack top and I don't really want to spend a ton of time here, so I'm going to uh, just get that one item for a 0.8% more woodcutting experience and I will get grinding into woodcutting. So for the past three days, or maybe two and a half days-ish, I've been AFK woodcutting at Teaks and I have almost gained 1 million woodcut experience. And I am now 79 woodcutting, working towards that 80, and my goal is 84 because that is the next threshold for faster kindlings at the Ice Demon. The next threshold is at 96, so I won't go for that for quite a while, so I'm going to be happy with 84 for probably the longest time. So one of the few bosses I still have left to kill in the game is Callisto, so I have managed to fix a setup here for that, and by the way, now that I have 99 range, the range cape is definitely better than the normal accumulator, so it also, by the way, as you can see, has the same effect as it, so it is definitely just straight up an upgrade. I think I have the correct markers now for Callisto, so uh, safe spotting it should be pretty easy. So yeah, you pretty much just have to run to this marker, when you see Callisto you run to this one, and when you see Callisto again you run to this one, and then after that you just run to this one whenever I think. And you can just safe spot it like this, so pretty easy. So my first drop was Snapdragon Seeds, a very good one, but uh, I just want to show you guys how this is done. So I am not good at this at all, so I might actually get hit by the boss, but uh, let's shoot him once here. And um, just run, okay there you go. So now I might actually get hit because that was pretty far, I had to run there to uh, Agrim. Yeah, you can just pretty much run back behind here and you stay here until you see Callisto. And there you go and you run to the next one. And you just wait for Callisto to come out again. And when you see Callisto, you run to the next marker. And last time I did this I actually did get hit once, so that was kind of unfortunate. Might happen again, I'm not sure. Uh, but there we go, and now I just wait, and now I run to this marker, and now I can save spot Callisto. Second loot of Callisto, I think I need to pick up my looting bag as well. Raynar Seed, holy, these drops are so insane so far. That's actually so lucky, that's like, how much is that? I'm gonna check my tracker, 500k in two kills. That is not the correct pickaxe I want. Okay, kill number five. I'm getting out of here. That's a tyrannical ring. I actually died and lost my looting bag, so uh, pretty nice loot to come back to. I have now done 18 kills and uh, I've been PK twice, which is, I, I would say it's not terrible because uh, I'm playing at peak times and it is a multi-zone, so there's probably more PKers here than there is at Vananadis. But I just want to say that I've started to use these blighted potions now. They're only 5k and they work in the wilderness only, so you can't really use them anywhere else, so they are way cheaper, but they work exactly the same as normal restores in the wilderness, so it's perfect for Callisto. Okay, that's kill count number 30 for some palm tree seeds, and I'm going to show you guys the total loot so far from 30 kills. 3.6 mil, of course the tyrannical ring being really good, and uh, you can see how many times I die by the way during this grind because uh, that's the amount of loot bags that I will get. Because I've got the dragon pickaxe and the dragon two-hander swords from Chaos Elemental already, I now have only the pet left on the Callisto collection log, which is I think 1 in 2000, so imagine if I would actually get that, a full completion log. That is now 50 kills done on Callisto, let's open this bag, and I only got PK'd those three times that you saw earlier, uh, because I actually started logging out way quicker now, and I actually upgraded my gear a bit, so I'm using a Reaper, or Anguish necklace, not Reaper necklace, uh, Pegation boots, and I just stood here and I just had my mouse on the logout button, Whenever I saw anyone, boom, instant logout. I'm done with Callisto for this video. The overall loot that I got was 5.2 mil, which is actually very, very good. The wilderness bosses are very profitable, but I did get also lucky getting the ring, which is 1 in 512 already on KC5, I think it was, so that is insane. But um, I'm very happy with uh, knowing how to save spot Callisto now, because it might be a pet I will go for in the future. So I'm actually just waiting for my friend to get some upgrades for his account to raid with, the guy I duoed in my last video with. So I'm actually just going to do Slayer until he's ready and try to get boss tasks. And whenever he is done, which might take a full day or something like that, then I will get back to raiding with him. 
Absolutely perfect task. I am going to do as much Criara as I can on this. Probably going to be like 40 kill count or something because I really want that chain skirt. If you don't know, the last item I need for my entire Criara collection log is the chain skirt. So I really would love to get that. Oh my fucking god, no way. That is on kill number 6. That is a 186 kill count collection log completed. Holy shit. Let's have a look at this now. Let's go to Criara. This is going to be so satisfying. 8 out of 8 in 186 kill count. And of course, it is a very good drop as well. Worth 34.7 million. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Killed 203. Still 89 left on the task. That is my third arm armadillo hilt. It's not the most valuable one, but oh my god, so lucky. Okay, that's the task now done. I got no more items, but come on, a chain skirt and hilt. And let's actually see how many kills. I'm going to uh, tag this up here. I did 42 kills and I made 45 million profit. Yeah, that's over 1 mil profit per kill. That's insane. We're gonna do 5 raids as duo and uh, that is raid number 1 for a total point of 20k. We screwed up a lot to say the least. Well a lot better this time, 39k points, 28k points for me but uh, still no purple. That's raid 18, I did actually forget to record 17 but uh, we got like 25k points for that one. So my partner is slowly learning how to run the head, so we're going to try to make an attempt to uh, both not die. He's already died once though with supplies, and with those supplies we're going to try to both uh, be able to survive all the way to the end and see if we can do it. Unfortunately, my partner died once, but I made it, so we got 35,000 points, but unfortunately also no purple but uh, we're getting better at running the head the only problem i have is really the melee head otherwise the mage head is very easy to do the 4-1 with ended up with a 55-ish minute solo raid with 27.5k points and i'm going to stop raiding for today on 20 total raids completed let's see what we get white beam unfortunately and uh, yeah there you go 20 overall raids Oh, Torn Prayer Scroll. If I were an Iron Man, that would have been pretty nice, but yeah, 60k for a main account. So I'm going to try to get a Greater Demon task, because my friend that I just did raiding with have a Greater Demon task, and we want to get some Krill done, so uh, yeah, that's what I'm hunting for right now, and uh, hopefully I can get one pretty soon. Imbued Heart. Oh, oh, missed Battle Staff. It's not good, but maybe it's actually on the collection log. I'm not sure if I've got that before. Actually, never mind. I for sure already have this, but can we get Imbued Heart now? What? Was that literally nothing? Oh, a smoke devil task. Uh, I'm actually at like 640kc right now of the thermonuclear smoke devil. So that will bring me pretty much to just above 800kc, I think. So let's see if we can get anything good in that. Okay, well, uh, three kills and smoke battle staff. Nice, two mil. That's the task done on 828 kill count now. No pet this time. The perfect task, 100, oh, 192 greater demons, that was, by the way, task 599, so uh, soon I can do 600 on Konar for a lot of points. So this is pretty much what a kill looks like as a duo with uh, our current gear setup and all that. If we hit a D Warhammer spec or an Arclight spec, we can actually kill it even faster than this, but the kills are very, very quick. I mean, we're both pretty close to like 90 plus combat stats, I'm almost maxed and I think he's like 85 in all combat stats. And we both use Arclight and we're both on Slayer assignment, so the kills are very very fast. The only times I have to use a lot of food is if I get specced a lot of times and hit for like, I got hit for, for uh, 47s sometimes by the boss specs. So I might go for a melee tank setup in the future with Magic Prey, it's pretty good as well. We've actually done two trips now and I have got 16 kills and he's got 24 kills. I'm the tank pretty much and he has the more damage side of it, so he gets most of the kills. So 40 kills in two trips, so like 20 kills every single trip. That is now kill count number 100 for me. I think I started with 78 or something like that, so I've got 22 kills in my name. And I'm assuming he's got 
kind of the equal amount. We both had 3 ecumenical keys, so we just did 3 krill trips and I got 22 KC and he got 29 as I was tanking, he was usually doing more damage, but 51 krill kills, unfortunately not a single drop, but it is pretty common to get drops at krill, so in the future when we get more greater demon tasks, we will get back there and farm more loot. So let's see how we're doing with the slides. On this one we added, of course, the 50 Callisto and also completed that one from having 0 KC. We also got some more KC on Kriara. I think we added 42. We also added the Krill KC that I got 22 on top of the from 78 to 100. Nice even number. And the bosses we still have on this one to complete is Giant Mole, Corporal Beast, Warcath and the Nightmare. Now for the second one, we actually added 5kc to Chambers of Zarek, but it's still not completed. I don't know if I said that in my last video, but I will only count it as completed if I get one purple, or I can do a Deathless Olm, and I don't have that just yet. We also of course added the 192 kills to the Thermonuclear Smoke Devil, but that's about it for that second slide. That will do it for this video, I do hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did please remember to leave a like, or if you want to see more of my content you can click any of the videos on the screen right now, but I just want to say that was some crazy luck at Kriara, I'm really happy I completed that log, and at a 180 CKC is just insane. But uh, I'll see you in the next one guys, take care.